Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 23. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 2, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, this is the last video for Chapter 2. Uh, we're on the sheet tab called Word. And here is our Word problem involving fractions. Um, these are the instructions just like you'll see on the test. It just says be sure and do the three steps, which we'll do here. So here's the problem. An experiment done with 600 smokers was conducted to see a particular stop smoking chewing gum could help people quit. After four months, two-thirds of the smokers were still smoking. Rounded to the nearest whole number in the experiment, how many smokers stopped? All right. Uh, so we're just going to do our little trick to make word problems easy. Read it slowly. And anytime you find a detail, you put the number and then the label. So an experiment done with 600 smokers. So smokers in experiment. And uh, that keeps happening in this workbook. It's autocomplete. It thinks we want the same thing. So I'm going to go up here and say uh, no. You know, I mean, the truth is Excel is kind of annoying sometimes, but it's so wonderful in so many other ways. I guess we'll put up with it. 600. Uh, so experiment with 600 uh, smokers was conducted to see if a particular stop smoking chewing gum could help people quit. After four months, now I'm going to put this in here. Um, but uh, this may or may not be helpful. All right, but that's the way that we kind of extract every little detail, look at it all here, and maybe we can figure it out. If we don't need it, we won't use it. All right. After four months, two thirds of the smokers were still smoking. So I'm going to put something like fraction of smokers still smoking. And I'm going to do a little trick. I want to, I want to see it as a, a fraction. So equals 2 divided by 3. Control Enter. That gives me a decimal. That's a beautiful way to convert fractions to decimals. It, Excel does it instantly. But I'm going to format it. Control 1, number, custom. Click right here. And it is question mark slash question mark. All right, so I think that's about the 20th time we've done this so far. I'm going to click the OK button. I guess the OK button was off the screen. Now I'm going to read this also very carefully. Um, two thirds of the smokers were still smoking. Now, if we go back to our list of words, we can remember that of means what operator? It means multiplying. So I'm going to put a little note here. Note of means multiplying. Oh, I put a uh, semicolon there. I meant colon. All right, so fraction of smokers still smoking is 2 thirds. We noted that that of means multiplying. But um, we'll keep reading, right? We're still smoking. Rounded to the nearest whole number in the experiment, how many smokers stopped? Hmm. Well, there's a, a few pieces of, piece of information. I'm going to actually come down here. It says rounded to the whole number. So I'm immediately going to put like requirement round answer to, and I'm going to write it exactly like I see it there, nearest whole number. Now, nearest whole number, what does that mean? Um, the whole, nearest whole number, that's to the ones position. So in parentheses, I'm going to put ones position. I'm going to put a dash because mostly what, the way we talked about in this class, we always said to the dollar. But we have that little uh, table that tells us what the name is for each position. So I'm going to just put dollar. This is not dollar, but just so it prompts our memory because most of our calculations were doing dollar. I hope I spelled dollar right. Now I'm also going to come down here and I'm going to go Excel requirement. So even before I start doing any calculating down here, I think I spelled that wrong, F7. Uh, Excel requirement. I'm going to think about this, all right? Um, ones position, dollar. 
That's to prompt our memory. We're not doing dollars here. And it is the round function we're going to have to use, right? That is autocomplete. It's looking up above and seeing that, so it's trying to be polite. But I'm just going to keep typing, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to say round function, and then it goes away once it's different. Round function second argument. And what does that equal? So we have to remember the penny is 2, the dollar or the ones position in our case is always going to be 0. So I'm still right here, rounded to the nearest whole numbers. So this is an illustration of how when we do our word problems, right, we, we extract every little teeny bit of information, just get it all down here into the spreadsheet. And then again, that makes the rest of it easy. All right, so rounded to the nearest whole number. In the experiment, how many sm smokers stopped? OK, um, so the goal is um, so it's actually a num determined number of smokers in experiment who stopped, right? Did I spell that all right? F7. I didn't determine. I cannot spell. <laughs> Luckily, I know all the keyboard shortcuts for spelling. Hopefully, all of you know how to spell. OK, so this determined number of smokers in experiment who stopped. But what were we given up here? Fractions of smokers still smoking. So we actually have another bit of uh, information here. Now, watch this. I'm going to use autocomplete as my, an advantage of fraction of smokers still smoking fraction of smokers. I'm going to double click that still. Uh, fraction of smokers who quit. I think that's uh, how many smokers stop. Well, we'll use quit, quit smoking, all right? So how do we do that? Um, well, 2 thirds, if, and we did adding this, um, uh, adding fractions in this chapter, 2 thirds. Well, all of the uh, smokers would equal, what, 600 di divided by 600, which would be 1, right? So what's the only remaining? If we want to get to the fraction, and I'm going to do apostrophe 3, 3 like that, because if I type in 3, 3, it'll be a date. If I want to get to that, what would I have to add in the numerator, right? Because they're like fractions, 1 third. So I'm going to actually put a formula here, equals 1 divided by 3. That's the fraction who quit. And then I'm going to immediately do this number for me. Now, notice this is aligned to the left, and that's because I put a lead apostrophe, right? Oops, escape. This one is a formula, so it's a number, so it's aligned to the right. But watch this. If I click that cell, if you go up to the home ribbon, here's you know the, the clipboard group. That button right there, that is cool. That's the copy formatting button. So if I click it, oh, my cursor turns to a paintbrush so I can paint this cell. Right? So those, those of you that like art, boom, that's the, the uh, paintbrush copy button. All right, so one third. Fraction of smokers who, oops, I put that in the wrong cell. I can move this. We talked about this cursor. This is the move cursor. I'm going to click and drag. If you don't like that move cursor, can cut which is Control X, and then right there, Control V. All right, so one third. Now, man, I'm sure some of you are laughing already when I type that. OK, so I think we got everything. That's it. All right, so now we got to come down to step two. And the trick here is of, right? So if of means multiplying, so two thirds of the smokers. So two thirds times all of the smokers were still smoking. So we're going to use that same logic here. So that means one third of the original, all the smokers who quit smoking. So it would be one third of 600, which means multiplying. So I'm going to list this detail and this detail and then simply multiply. I'm going to do our same trick equals that. Control Enter, and I'm going to copy it over. Right, so that got me that. That relative cell reference, I can't copy it down because it would come to this next cell, and I want this. So here I'm going to say equals that. 
control enter and copy it over. Now, the fact that we copied it over means it didn't get the number formatting. So I'm simply going to come here and do that same trick again. The home ribbon, oh, the format painter copies just the formatting. Whoop. Oh, that paintbrush, I click, and there it is. All right, so now I can type, um, and I can actually cheat, number of smokers in experiment who stopped or quit. Who I'm going to just change that stop to quit smoking. Hopefully they're still have stopped smoking. Number of smokers in experiment who quit smoking. Copy. So change that. I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to, in this cell, I'm going to control V. That's paste. So actually up here, I just copy. You could right click or control C and then paste it there. This column is not wide enough, so I'm going to point between A and B and click and drag. Now here, I'm going to do some formula. By the way, I, I minimized these ribbons so that there was more room for the video. If you right click, you can either minimize or check this and it unminimizes it. All right, so I'm going to go add some color in that. And then it's simply multiplying equals up arrow, up arrow times that. Now, what did it do? We talked about this last video. That uh, formula is using cell references and it <coughs> sucked the number formatting in there, but we are not getting tricked. I'm going to go up here and notice it says custom, but I'm going to go to general. All right, so do we need to round here? Round to the nearest integer? We do not, because it's already rounded. The fact that we applied the general number format, it gave us uh, the number and all the decimals. There are no decimals. And you, you might be able to do this one even in your head, right? 600 divided by 3 is 200, right? Now, I'd like to check this. And I don't think I left uh, enough rows down here. I'll do it over to the side. Uh, let's put the word check. And uh, we'll do it just a different way. And, and some of you might have thought of doing it this way first. We can take 2 thirds times 600 and multiply that and get all the people who didn't smoke and then subtract it from there. So I'm going to, right here, get this fraction of smokers still smoking. I'm going to increase the column width. I'm going to have to zoom down. So you can do the zoom here with the, the zoom bar. I'm going to hold control and roll my wheel. Drag it over. Do that little trick with number formatting. Oh, there's the format painter. Whoop. Okay, And we have our um, total right here. So I'm going to say number Number of smokers not quit, quite, not quite, not quit, did not. Um, and I'm going to do a formula here. Equals 600 times times 2 thirds. Again, that's number formatting. I'm going to come up here and apply general. 400. So now I could get. this check over here. I'll say number of smokers did quit. And I'll simply say, uh, and this is going to be a formula, so it equals the 600 minus this 400. All right, so there we checked it. Now we can write our answer. Cell A25, it's always going to tell you which cell to write your answer. Remember, and this has got that format. So as soon as you start typing in A25, it's centered across this selection here. How about the number of smokers in the experiment? I just took the word, some of the words right from there. The number of smokers in the experiment who quit after chewing the gum was 200. All right, um, fun with fractions in this chapter, fun with uh, some word problems here. 
uh, next chapter, we'll get to do percentages. All right, see you next chapter.